As a fine art photographer, I have captured many images throughout the state of Florida. The 4,400 square miles in the watershed of the Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program have provided a picture-perfect studio for me to explore and document Florida. In this program, you will meet a group of committed people working together to preserve and protect a better environment in the Southwest Florida and an overview of a planned program that brings research and managed ideas to existence to protect this incredible natural studio. Charlotte Harbor is my life, both personally and professionally. It's serenity. It's Florida in a nutshell. It's one of the most beautiful areas I've ever seen. Diverse, pristine estuary. It's a very important estuary. It's shoreline, it's lined with mangroves. It's a very pristine and pretty area. It's a magnificent system. It's a beautiful system, I love it. It's been such a fulfilling experience for me living in this type of marine related environment. When you let things go, and you don't protect it, you will not be looking at pristine, beautiful blue water. In this unique setting, the Greater Charlotte Harbor watershed contains three large rivers, the Mayaca, Peace, and Caloosahatchee, flowing westward to the Gulf of Mexico. These waterways flow through cities and towns, pine flatwoods and cypress swamps. When these rivers meet the salty water of the Gulf of Mexico, they form estuaries which are one of the most productive natural systems on the face of the earth. The Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program is a partnership of citizens, elected officials, resource managers, commercial and recreational resource users working to protect the greater Charlotte Harbor Estuary by improving the water quality and ecological integrity of the entire watershed. Using a cooperative decision-making process based on sound science and research, a well-balanced, comprehensive conservation and management plan was developed that identifies the region's priority environmental issues of water quality, water flow, and fish and wildlife habitat loss and well-planned actions to solve these issues. Uh, an estuary is a battlefield where things are constantly clashing, forces of uh, energy, forces of matter. Life is struggling to survive. Estuaries are places of transition. The plants and animals that live there are adapted to those conditions, so their productivity is the consequence of disturbance. The estuary is a disturbing place. One of the problems that persists through time is that the more we crowd our waterfront with human habitation, the less of what we wanted to see when we moved there still exists. One of the things we've discovered through time is that you can't separate the estuary from the river that drives the estuary. The mangrove habitat around uh, the harbor is vital to the production of fisheries. Without the detrital biomass that the mangroves provide and the myriad of small creatures that live under the water that consume the mangrove biomass that provide the basis of the food chain for the larger fin fishes. Charlotte Harbor got its real impetus in the 1970s with uh, Florida initiating a couple new programs. They were called the Environmentally Endangered Lands Program. But here it is where we know our economy is tied to environmental quality, you know, call it ecotourism or fishing or going to the beach. So much of our economy is tied to it's just stupidity to lose it for short-term gain by a few when it's the long-term cost of the many. And that's what the old heroes were fighting for, and that's what the NEP is reaffirming. A lot of 
people come here to vacation. They love the naturalness of the beach. Uh, they need to learn a lot about the estuary. We're here, we all look at it, we love it, but what does it really mean keeping it clean and healthy? And it means that we'll be able to fish in it and have safe boating and safe swimming for the future. My industry thrives on clean, healthy water, full of chock full of fun fish to catch, dolphins to watch, birds to see, and we need uh, we need everything working in our favor to make that happen. The main thing the public needs to know about estuaries and Florida's environments in general is that they are unimaginably productive if given the chance. No person alive today really understands how many birds and how many fish and how many mammals Charlotte Harbor could produce if we gave it the chance. It would be a phenomenon of worldwide significance and people's property values would be going up because they'd live next to the most unique ecosystem in the world. Tourists would come just to watch schools of mullet that cross the horizon and clouds of birds that block the sun. The humans cannot lose this vision of how productive nature, healthy, original nature can be. Thanks for spending time with us. Please get involved in the different programs to help preserve and protect our beautiful natural Florida. But I think it's time for me with this beautiful morning to go off and start taking some picture perfect images.